Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the Board of Assessors June, uh, January 24th meeting. Uh, we will be taping our own meeting and we also have LCAT here to videotape it. And we'll review the minutes from two weeks ago, January 10th, Mr. Johnston. I have reviewed the uh, minutes with regard to form and content and I find them in order and I move that they be approved. I'll second that motion. All those in favor except the men say aye. 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 Uh, we have one warrant, motor vehicle. This one is the last commitment for calendar year 2006. 16. Uh, 16. 16, yeah. It's so commitment six. Yeah. And wow. we also received commitment one, and we are actually working on it right now. So uh -huh. at your next meeting, you will. Commitment one is the one where everyone gets the excise tax bills. Correct. And uh, director's update. Gonna, what do you have, director? I was going to say you're going to see just a couple of planning board decisions, as we always do at the very top of that. We're starting our um, fiscal 18 uh, recertification. And in fact, our consultant has been in, and he's starting to review all sales mm -hmm. and our tables. Um, conflict of interest, every member knows that every two years we have to update our conflict of interest and um, I ask that you complete the web training and return your paperwork by March 14th. Uh, the town website is going to have a total new overhaul and it's going live this Friday. Um, I did get an opportunity to see it and I made a recommendation and I believe that they uh, agreed with me to make sure that when they have six tabs going across the center one of them is property record card and mapping because I feel a lot of people do you utilize that yeah we want to be, we want to be right up front on, on the I website I was just touting our great website I so. know I mentioned that uh. and I think they're going to be keeping the same type of interface uh, and connecting our property record cards we're just getting a new look to our website yeah you just reference that the tabs will be at the bottom rather than on the left right. hand side okay right. hopefully we can copy and paste like that we have been so yeah so let me know what your thoughts are because i know is you have been saying how wonderful it is yeah, and it ours great. Is, is, is is it up now oh no you're saying no a couple uh, days. friday yeah it's supposed to go live i noticed you mentioned here that um taxpayers can sign up for assessor's notification or notification from all the town departments they have that option yes so for instance when you put out a press release and you include it on the website mm -hmm. they would get that automatically that is correct so they what they would have to do is sign up to get a press release from the assessing department so they have the option of picking which department so when I put something on the main page of our website I do not do submit and send and the send pushes it out, but I do do that on the assessor's web page because if somebody si is signing up looking for information specifically from the assessor's office as opposed to every single department that puts something out. So I do encourage people. I know I've had a lot of conversations recently with people and they s have mentioned, well, why don't you send out notices to certain parties or properties that values may have changed and I have stated that we do have um, this ability you can sign right. up on the website so when I put out a, a release saying property values have um, been certified the property values are now available at the assessor's office that would be right in the press release that would get sent right directly to them and it would give them the opportunity to at that point review the information forms and lists too forms of lists I just sent All the forms are on yeah. there yeah. Um, and we did have a wonderful suggestion. Somebody called in and said, well, I see the information, but it would have been nice if you linked the personal property form. And I was like, oh, yeah. Went right in, and I was able to link it, so when they read the article, they can press, uh, click the uh, link, and see. the form of list comes right up. Yeah. So we do have Is that on. Is it that difficult to click back and go to the forms thing? It's not that difficult, but sometimes in the world that we live in, people are looking for a one-stop shop. So if they oh, see... It is. It's all on the same website. They <laughs> see the article. They just want to be able to go click 
and yeah. and we can do that. It's yeah. So we we did make sure that we have attached that. I hope you reminded people that have made inquiries that uh, a lot of what has been guided by guidelines from the Department of Revenue, particularly the Bureau of Local Assessment, and that we've always adhered to those guidelines um, um, in doing our work. I have. Um, I have stated how every time a press release is put out, not only on our website, it is also sent to the reminder, and I have, uh, which is the local newspaper of general um, circulation right. in our area, which is what's required by the Department of Revenue. So we do have um, a couple avenues that we're getting the word out. Mm -hmm. uh, the Department of Revenue no longer requires us to send out individualized pieces of information because as communities are growing, um, it becomes a very large um, cost, time yes. commitment yes. Uh, in order to do that. So that's why we do use our website, yeah. newspapers, uh, in order to get the information out to the public. Yeah, in the past, people would have to come to town hall, or go to the library. I mean, they'd have to physically present themselves to get the information. Now it's mm -hmm. readily available through different avenues. Right. The only other thing on uh, the director's update is the town report. I did receive the notice that we need to have it submitted no later than February 13th, and you will see on the agenda that I have pulled together um, uh, the town report and hope that you will be able to approve That's, it. That starts with the Board of Assessors letter? Yes. Yes, it does. I missed that online. I don't know how I did. The, this copy doesn't show the suggested um, amendments. And yes, I did receive um, some suggested and I agreed with them 100%. Uh, and I have updated it just to make the flow of the words change a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And what I did do is print off a copy for each member because now this is the way it is has been updated. And if any other board member had not had an opportunity to review it, please review it. And if there are any other suggestions um, to no, this. I miss it. I, I you know, looked at the tax recap and everything else. So Exempt as property. part of our bylaws of the town, all of the additional documents that um, falls after this letter is what is in our bylaws that we are required to put up. So those right. are pretty standard. Right. Yep. Um, and the letter is just kind of an overview of what our office did over the last right. year. Oh, it's a good letter. So, if the board could review it and get back to me, if there's no other changes, that's what I will put forth. If there are changes, then I will take your suggestions and I will um, make any edits and then make sure I share it with the board at their next meeting. It looks good to me. Yeah, it looks good to me. Looks good to me as well. Awesome. And that's how you spell reallocate. That just doesn't look right. But I'll just spell check, check it. that one. Which well, one? My spell check does not reallocate. always work. I know. Mine either. Yeah. What paragraph is that in? Second. Is that how you spell reallocate? It just doesn't look great. I, I mean, it could be right. I will double check that. You could hyphenate it. Reallocate the workspace. Yeah. I think that's I think it's a valid word. Just I think it check is. check it against the spell checker. Sure. Yeah. If the spell checker is not always right, like I say, I have the word frontage and it comes up as an error every time. Yeah. In other words. So if I head into correspondence, can we move? Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah, go ahead. So on your, you should have a letter from our town accountant, um, and she is 
working to combine our overlay accounts uh, based on the new municipal modernization. Mm -hmm. And it no longer requires us to keep um, individual years of the overlay. And so for internal purposes, she's going to continue to keep them um, individual, but for the overall balance, she is trying to get them combined. So she sat down with me to find out if we had any appellate tax board cases or outstanding personal property um, for fiscal years 2004, five, and six. Now, I did mention to her that we have some minor cases, which is our Sprint ATB appeal for the wireless that has not been um, finished yet. And at the most, it's going to be a matter of $2,000 over those three-year period if we do have to um, release any of this. What's the balance for the overlay for those three years? Um, there should be a spreadsheet. Is, do you have a spreadsheet right on the very next page? Okay. So you have an overlay analysis. 2006. So you'll see uh, 2004, what the balance is, 2005 and 2006. Um, and at the, what we're estimating and what our balances are, are, are very small. Balances are still large, and yeah. what is owed is small. Um, we have no, we have outstanding case from 2004 to 2009 for Sprint, and you can see the dollar amounts that, and again, it's projected. Yeah. Um, That's still active. I have not received anything saying it's been finalized. Okay. So, and she's requesting a release of those funds. I would release the balance, considering what the uh, the potential ATB liability is. But I don't know how my board members feel about that. I, I agree with you on that one. Yeah. So. Yes. So for clarification, um, you are would release the balance that we currently have in, or the balance less what is balance left after we retain the liability. Okay. So, uh, so that words, last column where it says best maximum surplus estimate? Correct. Is what the Board of Assessors would be willing to release? To release, yes. Yes. And then they can put some money back into our budget. <laughs> <laughs> And so this is a vote of the board. Yes. Yes. Uh, do you want? Uh, do you want me make, make a, a formal motion? Vote. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Um, I propose, upon request from the town accountant, that <coughs> we release the balances after liability uh, for calendar for fiscal years 2004, five, and six, and we uh, transfer those to surplus. Second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So it's just the first three years. The first, yeah, the right. first three. So it would be a total of, uh, I should, probably should have mentioned the amount, the 120000 right. Six fifty nine oh nine. Duly noted. actually put in for correspondence that I did have a taxpayer who had requested, um, you know, receiving information, but I think we just covered that by discussing that in yes. um, right. the director's update. So I did tell the taxpayer I would make sure that the board is aware of um, some people's concerns of getting personal notices, but we're aware that we have the website that will be able to um, get the word out to anyone who yeah. needs the Exactly, and, and, and we have to be consistent, we have to be equitable. We can't mm -hmm. send, we try to avoid preferential treatment. Right, individual mm -hmm. mailings. 
be very costly. Yes. And then the last thing I have is we did get the notice for the winter meeting, uh, which is going to be March 1st, 2017 at Lombardo's in Randolph. And I would just suggest that if anyone does have an interest in attending that they let me know by the next meeting so we can uh, get reservate or register you. I do have an interest uh, because it's okay. the six credits for continuing education. And, mm -hmm. yeah, well. and I would have an interest if you'd like to drive. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drive. Um, the weather should be much better in March than it, it usually is in January for us to go down there. Well, um, I'm really kind of interested in the afternoon session because the just, drone? just recently at a department head meeting, the town is considering obtaining one uh -huh. for purposes of public safety and to be able to utilize um, like Fourth of July parades, things like that, where they can have this overview. Yeah. So. I never gave it into consideration um, for an assessing aspect, and all yeah. of a sudden that came up. So I would be curious to see yes. what they're talking about. Yeah. But anyways, I do encourage um, any board member, if they want to go, to please let me, make me aware so I can get you registered. Okay. All right. Anything else to add to that? Uh, the only other thing, uh, just today I did receive the Him in Hampshire County Assessing Association is going to have a round table. Um, it is going to be Department of Revenue and the MAAO are working together so we can um, get assessor feedback for when certifications take place. Um, because I am on the Hampton Hampshire County Association, I will attend. I have asked our uh, vendor if he would like to attend or if he had areas of interest that he would like to see them address for him to provide me with a listing. It is um, free of charge and if anyone did want to attend it's going to be held next Friday. I will try to attend. Okay, I definitely yeah. will. Yeah. And then now that you are one of the newest board members <laughs> on the HHCAA we will be having a meeting directly following so if you'd okay. like to drive together I'd be happy I do have to stay yeah for that meeting as okay. well as you can drive to that one I can drive uh -huh. I can handle South Hadley it's getting <laughs> to Randall although hey I did make it to Boston for the ATV case in a bad in, in, a, in a really bad in a day in a snowstorm yeah. at 20 first, miles an hour but at hey. 20 yeah yeah a first time hour ever drive. that I drove into Boston so <laughs> okay but that's all I have all right. Okay. I make a motion to go into executive session to uh, review statutory exempt application, real estate abatements, other abatement concerns, and a Chapter 61 application. Second that. And we shall not be returning to open session. It's been seconded. Roll call vote. Bill Johnson? Yes. Chris Sanya? Yes. Marty Grudgeon? Yes.